So you think your son Jimmy has OCD. Well, let's look at the characteristics of OCD. OCD is characterized by two main things, obsessions and compulsions. Obsessions are intrusive thoughts, images, or urges that trigger intensely distressing feelings like fear, doubt, or that things have to be done in a way that is just right. Common obsessions include fear of losing control, harming oneself or others, and obsessions related to perfectionism. People with OCD actually find these thoughts disturbing and realize that they don't actually make any sense. The other half of OCD consists of compulsions. Compulsions are behaviors a person has in an attempt to temporarily escape their distress. Additionally, compulsions are repetitive behaviors or thoughts a person uses with the intention of counteracting or making their obsessions go away. Common compulsions include washing and cleaning, rearranging objects, repeating or rewriting multiple times until it feels right, and symmetry or exactness. At this point, it is critical to look at what causes these obsessions and compulsions. OCD involves problems in communication between the front part of the brain and deeper structures of the brain. These brain structures use a neurotransmitter called serotonin. OCD does run in families, and genes likely play a role in the development of this disorder, although there are other less significant factors like daily stress. Now let's take a step back to see if 12-year-old Jimmy is even at risk for this disorder. Unfortunately, Jimmy is at equal risk for OCD, because OCD affects men, women, and children of all races, ethnicities, and backgrounds. The most common ages are 8 to 12 and late teenage years into adult years. Roughly 1 in 100 adults in the U.S. suffer from OCD, meaning 2 to 3 million on average. Roughly 1 in 200 kids in America have OCD, or 500,000 kids. Now, diagnosing OCD is based on three main criteria. First, there's obsessions. Second, there's compulsive behaviors. And third, the most critical piece is that these obsessions and compulsions take up a lot of time and get in the way of important activities. Finally, if Jimmy fits all of the criteria, he needs to be treated for OCD in one of two ways, cognitive behavior therapy and or medication. A class of medications called serotonin reuptake inhibitors are used to treat OCD. The most common medications are fluoxetine and sertraline. So with the conclusion of all this information, I hope we have come up with an answer as to if Jimmy has obsessive compulsive disorder.